Hello, everyone. I'm Renee Lobo, and welcome to the Renee Lobo Report, bringing you issues of topical interest. Today, my guest is going to talk about energy, and we know that energy crisis all around the world. President Obama has made it as a top priority to work on energy issues. The 2009 summit that took place in Copenhagen talked about different countries pledging to control greenhouse gas emissions, whether it was China, India, USA, and uh, with also global warming and diminishing of oil, gas, and coal reserves, alternative sources of energy become a priority, whether it's solar, whether it's wind, whether it's marine, whether it's geothermal or hydroelectric. And Mr. Raj Mehta, who is the CEO of Rescue Solar Corporation based in Long Island, has come up with a great new way of uh, using solar energy panels. This is what he has brought over here, which is not made of silicone. And he's going to tell you all about this solar energy panel initiative, which is uh, catching a lot of support with a lot of policymakers in Long Island. And it's also going to be creating over 150 jobs uh, in the island uh, with this new initiative. Uh, Mr. Mehta, tell us, I know that, uh, as I mentioned before, the President Obama has made energy issue as a top priority right now in his administration. And uh, that's because there's so much happening all around the world and we are getting all these greenhouse gas emissions and, you know, global warming and it has to be eco-friendly. And we are going towards that. But again, we are still way behind our goals. So uh, tell us how your solar energy panel works this out. Okay. Uh, as you very well uh, narrated it that, you know, alternative energy is going to be the next future of the world, obviously, you know, because oil supplies are going down. And what, you know, what we are going to do is we, are, we have started a new company called Rescue Solar Corporation. Uh, this is what we are going to do is we are, you know, traditionally the solar panels, you know, are made out of silicon based. Okay. So silicon crystals are packed in between the glasses and that's how they are made, you know, traditionally. But what we have, we are going to do is we are going to use a different kind of technology. I see. Okay. Uh, the technology is called six technology, CIGS. It's, mm -hmm. it's a copper, indium, gallium and selenium. Right. Okay, now this technology is uh, developed by our own uh, U.S. Department of Energy, which is, you know, NREL, which is called National Renewable Energy Laboratory. And uh, it's been about four years old technology. And right now, uh, there are a lot of benefits to this technology as uh, compared to the silicone-based technology because the efficiency rating is proven to be a 19%, which is very high. And silicone is traditionally about 14%. So, you know, we have a higher efficiency rating on top of that um, you can also p do this on a flexible material, like when you put it on a uh, glass, like silicon, you know, based, it's a, all glass based, okay? And each panel weighs about 55, 60 pounds. Mm -hmm. When you do it on this one, it weighs about 15, 17 pounds. So there's a big So difference. this is a lot lighter. We see that uh, right here. Mm -hmm. And uh, you put this on the rooftop. Yes, you can, right. what you can do is, you know, because, you know, this is, because it's a flexible material, right. you can use it, you know, there are a lot of different usage of, on, on this kind of technology, because, you know, you can also put it on a rooftop, like you can create an integrated roofing material. Mm -hmm. So when you change your roof, you know, the roof is already having this kind of capacity. So when you put in your new roof, it becomes automatically now, solar ready. But obviously it'll be a bigger panel than this. There is no panel. That's what I'm saying. There is no panel because you know all it is is really it's a, it's like a uh, it's like a stainless steel on the back. Right. Okay. On top, we have a four you know uh, chemical which is copper, indium, gallium, and selenium. Mm. All they are like even less than a paper thickness. Okay. I see. And they are all vapor deposited. Here. Right. Okay, so it becomes like very lightweight. So let's say, for example, roofing tile. I'm already talking to a roofing, you know, manufacturer, right? A roofing tile manufacturer. So what happens is that when they create the roofing tile, we just it goes through our own lab and it just passes through our, you know, your tool set and it becomes roof is you're ready, you know, to generate. So, but they energy. have to use the six this material. Six, yeah, because you know they come into our factory, our plant, right, exactly. and our plant will actually, you know, deposit all these four material. Right, right. And then you put it on your roof. You know, so it becomes like a, you know, like it generates electricity from day one when you put your new roof. Right. Now, this is a collaborative effort with the U.S. Department of Energy that you're putting out? No. See, U.S. Department of Energy has developed this technology, okay? Right. Right and now. And you've taken it to the next we level are, with We this. are commercializing it. We are commercializing it because, you know, right now U.S., as you, you know, say, as you know probably, that U.S. is way behind in this True. field. Yeah. Okay. And, uh, 
what I think is that, you know, I mean, I started this, you know, thinking about this business about uh, six months, eight months ago, and I, I was thinking about, you know, that what needs to be done in solar energy. And, and in New York, you know, I mean, we normally depend on, you know, from uh, whenever we want to, in, in, you know, install any panels anywhere, whatever the projects are going on, we buy it from China or Germany or Japan or somewhere outside, right? So I thought about that, okay, well, wh what do we do here that, you know, we, we can be proud here because we are now, Amer you know, we are basically Americans here. Okay, well, our kids are Americans, everybody's American. So, so that's why I, I thought about, you know, uh, creating this manufacturing plant and I have a, my partner who is also, you know, he's a scientist at the Department of Energy for 28 years and he was also one of the part of the, you know, when it was, this technology was developed, okay. Right. Right. Yeah. Now, uh, the traditional one was using this kind of a mirror kind of a thing, which is a lot heavier, lot heavier and it's, right. uh, I don't know if it's cost effective at all. Well, it, 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 it is, uh, I mean, you know, it's like efficiency rating is about 14 percent, okay? I see. Uh, and, and what happens that, you know, because it's heavy, like on your roof, if you put, let's say, for example, you know, for, uh, 20 different, you know, big panels on there, each one weighing 60 pounds, think about how much, you know, weight you're putting on your roof. The roof itself. Yeah. And also installation cost goes up because, you know, people who are to install it, they have to take it up there. Right. Now, for this one that we have, this, this solar energy panel, that, this, this that you Mm -hmm. You have this over mm -hmm. here. What is the cost for the installation? Well, cost of the this installation. Is part of the tiles that you're putting up on the roof. Right. So, cost of installation, you know, it can be embedded into when you went right. in, in a roof installation. Rather. So, which means if I'm having a regular normal tile and I'm right. going to put this, I'm going to put something from the Rescue Solar Corporation, what am I going to, what are my costs? How does my cost go up? Well, How much does it go up by? You know, your cost, only the roofing company will whatever they charge you more because it's, this is, you know, uh, this is solar ready. Right. Okay, so whatever they charge you more, that's what you're going to pay for. For example, if one tile of roof, let's say just an example, exactly. if they're selling, selling you for a dollar, they may start charge you dollar ten cents or dollar twenty cents, depending on what is their cost. Okay, but it's not okay. that much. No, it's not going to be that yeah. much. It cannot be that much. Okay, so as we know that solar energy, you know, you're driving it all the energy from the sun. It's free energy, and we've got to use this, and that's the best way to use this energy. Whether it's the wind energy or the solar, I think these are the uh, the hydroelectric. I think these are the best ways to go. And uh, some states in the United States are very aggressive with this. Yes. But unfortunately, New York. Uh, its goals are way up over there, but it's really not been able to implement them so well. No, New York. Had, New York's goal is by 2015, they want to achieve 25 percent of electricity generation from the alternative sources. Right. Okay. What that means is, you know, it's 2,000 megawatt generation. Now, what is our plan is that we are going to we want to make it like 50 megawatt. Mm -hmm. So what I'm what I'm trying to say here is we, there is enough demand in New York itself. That's right. That, you know, uh, whatever we make, I would not, I mean, I believe that we would not have problem in selling it. Mm. And that's my point is that there is enough appetite here. Right. There's enough appetite right in New York or, you know, like even if we sell it outside, I mean, there's a, like Department of Defense. You know, I've been already talking to Department of Defense. I went to Washington a couple of times. Department of Energy. I mean, soldiers right now, they're carrying, you know, 23 pound of battery on their back when they are out there in the field, right? So now if you, if I put a, like a, you know, uh, this, we make it six ready on their helmet and the jacket maybe, okay? So what happens that it generates energy when they are there out is there it, in the does field. Does the helmet get very heavy? No, okay. no, because this, this is not heavy at all. You know, it's yeah, the see same. Yeah, it's not heavy, but, yeah. but how much do you need to put in the helmet? No, it's same, same layer, like, oh, you know. The same the layer thickness, like that, like a paper right, layer you said. Okay. Less than a thick, thickness so of a paper. So it's embedded in the helmet. Absolutely. So what, they, what you're saying is that they have to make new helmets that Whenever have they this. make the helmet, yes. you know, they just, it just goes through our process. That's it. That's the same like roofing tiles. Now, but does it take a long time to make something no. like this in the process? It, everything is planned, right? Now, no. they have to put a new helmet. They can't put in the old helmet. No, obviously This is not going to make no, work. It's not going to So obviously you've got to get new helmets yeah. to put this in. And, uh, and you said the price factor doesn't go that far. Nope. So that doesn't factor in too much. It, it's not a, you know, it's not a big problem. Because compared to, you know, carrying 23 pounds on the back, I mean, you know, see how efficient they can be if right. they don't carry that much weight right. on the back. So. I know that uh, California is, is way ahead of the game. So is Colorado, Nevada, Jersey as well, a neighboring state. Uh, Jersey is behind. They are really, okay, but they are really going up and uh, moving towards their goal. 
everybody is trying to move towards the goal. Okay, so California like, is really California way up is there. you know California is definitely more aggressive, and Texas is more aggressive, right? Okay. Are, these are the two states which are kind of leading states right. into energy, versus all other states they do have they have a goal, but they are far behind. Uh, Jersey is way behind actually. Jersey is way behind. And yeah. uh, but yep. various yep. US states there are besides like California, Nevada, and Colorado, they're offering also incentives. Yep. Uh, which mm -hmm. many other countries are doing the same thing. If you use solar instead of the regular gas or oil or uh, you, you know do. reserves, mm -hmm. uh, you are saving at the same time, not just money-wise, but environmentally friendly product. And uh, mm -hmm. and it's better in the future because that's the way to go. That's the way to go. Because you know, if you put solar, let's say, in your house, right? So you do know, you tell the government? Zero. Yes. It's called net zero. Exactly. So you put it now in your so you know then and for like you know normally what happens during the day you generate more energy you know because it's sunny and out there so it, you generate more energy so whatever happens is you know when uh, the meter your meter you know uh, it reverses basically because you're generating more than what you need in your house. Right, right. So you have a you know meter will going backwards rather right. than going forward. Right. Okay. So you give to the whatever excess is you give to the grid, mm. and whenever at night you need it you take it back. Right. From the grid. So, but then do you have to tell the Department uh, of Energy or the U anybody in the U.S. government or your state government or your city government that I'm using solar energy? So, obviously, they're going to give you some sort of an incentive? Yeah, there is a federal incentive, tax incentive. There is a state tax incentive. There are plans, you know, for example, you know, in Long Island, Long Island Power Authority also right. has the incentive that if you put in solar energy, that they give, they give you 